Hi guys, welcome to lesson of partial differential equations. So in this class, we are going to discuss an important topic and we have taken an example of non-homogeneous heat equation, uh, wave equation, sorry. And we will use uh, Duhamel's principle to solve this problem. So the idea here is that if we are given with a non-homogeneous equation, here we can see there is a function of x comma t. And given that the boundary conditions are homogeneous, and initial conditions are homogeneous as well. So uh, if the problem is of this form, then we can solve this uh, problem using the Duhamel's principle, uh, right? So the idea to apply the Duhamel's principle is here. We will convert this problem. Uh, the equation is now homogeneous. What we did, we removed the source from here to the initial condition that is initial velocity, right? And for this, we will construct the function of x uh, comma zero side that s. So whatever function of uh, t is given uh, for the heat, uh, for the source. Uh, so it's uh, x sine t, therefore this t will be replaced by s, right? So whatever the function of t is given, it will be replaced by s. So now it's x sine s. Now what we have to do here is that we just have to solve this problem, this equation. We already know how to solve this problem. This is now homogeneous equation with homogeneous boundary conditions and on the uh, initial condition. Uh, the other initial condition that is the initial displacement is zero. Therefore, if you will solve this uh, problem, we will get only Bn as we know uh, because the boundary conditions are directlet conditions and uh, the solution to this uh, problem can be given by, uh, let me write here, it can be given by, this uh, Vx comma t is equals to summation and is equals to one to infinity. Let me write Ux comma t because we are talking about the general solution. So this is a n cosine and pi x over L. Uh, sorry, not, not cosine and pi x. It's uh, cosine n pi c t over L times sine n pi x over L and plus b n uh, sine n pi c t over L divided by sine n pi x over L, right? So if uh, u of x comma zero is given as zero, therefore this implies that this a n will be zero because if we put t is equals to zero here and t is equals to zero here, right? So this whole function will be zero, this function, and we're left with only this function. Therefore we can, uh, say that uh, a n is equals to zero from here, right? So we just need to find u t of x comma t because we have the condition of initial velocity. Therefore, this will be n pi over, uh, sorry, n pi c over l times b n cosine and pi c t over l times sine n pi x over l, right? So from here, if you put uh, t is equals to zero here, then we will left with n pi c over l, b n times sine n pi x over l is equals to the whatever condition is given, right? And we can integrate uh, for b n like this to over, uh, L times n pi c over L integral zero to L u t of x comma zero times sine n pi x over L right dx. So using this we can find b n and then we can plug in the equation to find the particular solution. So here we can see that what we did here is uh, just we need to find uh, bn therefore when we will 
uh, integral, uh, sorry, when we will find the ut, we will get n pi bn times sine n pi x. Therefore, we move sine n pi x to the right hand side with this integral. And uh, we have the function now that is uh, v t of x comma zero such that s, right? So it's x sine s times sine n pi x dx. Therefore, this sine s is constant. So it will be moved outside. We will left with the two or n pi s times sine s into the integral from zero to one x sine pi n pi x. Now we can evaluate this integral, it's easy. So this is constant, it's outside this integral, negative x cosine n pi x over n pi plus sine n pi x over n squared pi squared from zero to one, we will apply the limits and we will get this to n uh, two sine s or n squared pi squared times one minus negative one over n power n, right? So we can keep it as it is, or we can write for sine s over n squared pi squared when n is odd and zero when n is even, right? So both ways are correct. So just to make uh, our problem easier, we will use this for sine s or n squared pi squared. Now for Duhamel's uh, principle, the idea is that now this is the, this will be the solution for this problem, right? Bn is here. This will be Bn times sine and s or, uh, sorry, it's not Bn here. Now because Bn is equals to two times sine s over n squared pi squared. This is bn, this one, and times uh, sine n pi t times n pi x. Uh, no, again, there is a mistake. It should be four sine s over n squared pi squared, right, from here. So now, what we are going to do, we are going to integrate the function by uh, using uh, t minus s here instead of t. This is the idea of the Duhamel's principle. So it will be n pi times t minus here, s here. We can see that n sine s as it is, that is from here. And then now in this case, sine n pi x is constant. So outside, because we are integrating with respect to ds, therefore uh, this sine s times sine n pi times t minus s, Therefore, this is sine of alpha dot sine of beta. And this is equals to, we know that one over two times cosine alpha minus beta minus cosine alpha plus beta, right? So now we can write in this way, one over two times this integral. Uh, so we'll solve this integral uh, we can move this two outside here. So it's two ones are two, two to the four, sine n pi x over n squared pi squared. Then this integral is open, this is solved. Integral of cosine is sine. So we will apply limits from zero to t. Here we applied the limits in this uh, step and we simplified the problem. Here we can see the simplification. And now the final result for this problem is here, all right? So we can see that this is the solution for the problem. Summation n is equals to one to infinity two sine n pi x over n squared pi squared times n squared pi squared minus one multiplied by two n pi sine t minus two sine n pi t. All right, so this is the idea of uh, Duhamel's principle. And uh, we already solved this problem using the method of eigenfunction expansion. So we can compare the solutions, right, for our ease. So that's all for the time being. Hope you guys will learn from this lesson. Take care and goodbye.